Okay, folks, so uh, in this video, we're going over lab 3.2, which is drawing shapes again. Um, in this lab, we want to start working on how to draw custom blocks or how to create custom blocks and use those to do something that we've already seen before. Uh, but we're using custom blocks like this one that I have right here to make that uh, not only simpler, but much more clean in our code. And we're going to find that this is actually probably one of my favorite um, things to do in Snap is sort of take some of these methods that we've already created, like these ones right here, and create custom blocks that allow us to make our code much sharper and much cleaner. Um, so right now, as you can see, I have this shape custom block, and I actually just drew a triangle for me. And the entire idea, idea of this uh, shape block is that I enter any number of sides for it, and it will draw me a regular pentagon, I'm sorry, regular uh, polygon with that number of sides. So as you can see, I put in three earlier, it drew me a triangle, and if I enter five, it gives me an octagon. Now we'll see if I do, or I'm sorry, a pentagon. We'll see if I do with the number eight, it draws me an octagon. Um, so that is sort of the goal of this um, lab, and we're gonna show how we do that. But to start off, you can see these are all different um, shapes that I've drawn right here. These are all different ways of drawing them. Um, you can see right here, I have a script that draws a square, one that draws, I'm sorry, a triangle, then a square, then a pentagon, and then an octagon right here. Um, in order to do this in a custom block, we simply start by going over to any one of our options here on the left, sound, motion, looks, it doesn't exactly matter, but I prefer to make mine in a category that sort of matches the task. Um, and I click make a block. As you can see, I already have shape, the first one right there. And I'm going to add shape number two. So it creates a custom block right there on the left that I can now drag out onto my scripts and it opens up the block editor right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and I'm gonna click the plus button right here. This will give me the option to create inputs or different titles. Um, for this, I wanna create an input that is called the number of sides. So I just conveniently title it sides right there and click enter. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the same code that I already have in my scripts right here. I'm gonna duplicate and I'm going to snap in right there. So now this does the exact same thing as drawing a triangle, but what I wanna do is I wanna get rid of this comment and I wanna make this um, able to take in basically arguments, right? So I'm gonna take sides from right here and drag it out and I'm gonna place it right here on the repeat block. So that's now gonna repeat whatever inside of here, whatever the sides variable that's input by the user. So we can see side shape right here um, takes in the number eight and created a octagon. Um, this will create, basically, this will create a multiple sided triangle, the number of sides times. What we wanna do though, is make it so they can draw any regular um, polygon. Now how we do that is with a simple formula, I'm going to take sides right there. I'm actually gonna pull it from right here and I'm gonna apply a simple formula. So for this, if you remember back to your algebra classes or your geometry classes, um, if we want to do a regular pentagon, I'm sorry, regular polygon, we're going to take the full um, angles of the inside of any polygon, which is 360, and divide it by the number of sides. So if it were a triangle and that was three, that would, number would be 120. If it was four, it would be 90, and so on and so on. Um, so I'm going ahead and snap that right here into the number of degrees that I want to turn, and I'm going to keep 50 the uh, same as before. So now if I click apply and if I click okay, and I pull that shape block number two out, we can see it does the same thing as the other one. So if I push in three, it should give me a triangle and we can see that it does. If I put in the number four, it should give me a regular square and it does. Um, so that's pretty simple. That's how you create a custom block and that's how you make it so that it can take in arguments. And again, you can see this code's much cleaner than having all three of these out. I've essentially replaced it right here. The next thing that I also wanna do is make it so that I can control how long each side is, right? So I'm going to change this right here. And I'm gonna change it to length. So this is gonna control the length of my sides. And I just drag that variable down right here and put it inside the move blank steps block. So if I click okay, you can see it's now extended my block just a little bit and it gives me that second input. So right now, if I draw a square, it'll make it actually no sides because I haven't even given it an argument. But if I put in 10, you can see it draws a little square. If I put in 100, 
this will draw a big square. Um, again, so we're familiar with variables. We've used variables and loops before. You know, we've done a lot of this stuff before, but making a custom block really makes it so that the, you know, the script is, is much cleaner. Um, it's much more, um, you know, if you kind of explain what a custom block does, the person who's programming who may be looking at your scripts later on doesn't exactly need to know, you know, all the inner workings of how the shape is done. What they really need to know is that the first variable taking the number sides of whatever polygon you want to draw, and they know that the second uh, input right here gives the length of each side. So it makes your code much cleaner uh, and much more reproducible.